Today we're going to be um, going through drills for the front aerial cartwheel or the front aerial walkover and um, we're going to start with the entry into the skill and work our way across the floor doing various drills that are going to help teach the skill. We try to do these every day, take about five minutes on them to develop the skills. Some of the girls are in different stages of learning them and you'll see that through the tape as we go. Um, some of them are ready to do them on the beam, others are still doing them into a softer surface or on the tumble track. Okay girls, ready? The first drill we're going to be doing is just a handstand held and um, then a quick kick over. Most people think this is a front walkover. It's not. It's a whip skill. So the second leg is just as important as the first. When we film this, you'll see that the second leg needs to chase the first leg and come over quickly. One, two. The leg should be coming, coming down in a one, two rhythm very quickly. We're doing this from a handstand so they get the idea of generating force by splitting aggressively and driving the first foot to the floor. Okay, so when she goes from a handstand, she has to go one, two, quickly, drive the first foot to the floor to get her foot under her hips. Do it again. So from the handstand, she drives that first foot down, second foot under. And I have the arms pulling back for when we go to connection on this skill. A lot of people like to see them swing all the way around, and you'll see later on why we're doing it just arms out. And go, one, two. And switch one, two. Okay, good. Feel that first foot turn in. You got to keep your foot turned out when it comes out so that you're pulling and balancing, okay? One, two. That's the idea. Very nice. Pull your hips open a little more. Push them forward. Tuck the booty a little bit, right? There. Chin. Okay, good. Very good. Good finish at the end, too. Good corrections, okay? Um, they're looking to finish with their weight centered between their legs. I don't want them doing all a one leg landing. I want that second leg to assist and help balance for beam. So watch her hips when she finishes. Watch how aggressive and strong her drive under that first foot coming down is. This is what we're looking to get from this drill is get the kids to get their foot under them as hard as they can. Okay, very good. The second drill we do is just a fast front walk over, same emphasis on one, two, and the arms. All right, while they're learning these drills, one of the things we want to emphasize is the importance of the arms. I want a really strong pullback and drive into it, okay? If you watch her arm, she's going to pull back so she can generate more force driving down into the floor, okay? This, the, the arms assist this skill tremendously when it becomes the full front aerial. So if you watch when she goes to do the front aerial, the, the, the pullback of the arms assist and make this very aggressive. The next skill, the next drill we do while they're learning this, and I just have the girls do five of these a day, good or bad, they move on so we don't stay on this skill forever, okay? Is we do one arm at a time, practicing swinging the arm through the bottom. At this point, they're ready to go on and learn the whole skill, we really emphasize driving the hands past the leg and trying to get what we call a sandwich, getting the chest down as low to the leg as we can. If you can see how close her chest is getting to her leg on takeoff, that's very important for the skill. One of the biggest aids we've had in learning the skill is pre-wrap. I had a hard time finding a way to communicate to the girls how important it was to drive their arms past their legs. We were talking about digging in the sand, we were talking about reach past, sandwich your arm to your leg. This got the, the point across really quickly. What we're having them do is start with their arms up high and they have to break the pre-wrap over their ankle before they flip. Every day each girl has to do at least five of these. It's usually more like ten because they have to do five drills and then five of the skill. It doesn't take that long and I let them move from where they're comfortable. And the ultimate goal is to get them on floor and then get them up on the, the beam platform and the beam. Uh, the girls that are just learning them will be learning them in the pit, then they move to the tumble track, then the tumble track with a mat over it and then to floor. The next step is to take it onto the platform where they get comfortable and try to figure out how to land on the line. We use the platform a lot because it gives them the feel of taking off from the beam and then they edge it back away from the platform until they're doing it on the beam. Once they get it there, we'll take it to um, a draped medium or high beam and then onto the high beam. Um, Courtney's going to show us why we pull the arms to the side. It's a little more efficient if they keep their arms to the side and drop it immediately for the backhand spring rather than the full arm circle come around and drop. 
Eventually, I believe that is going to be deducted for lack of connection, uh, especially if they can do it this way. She'll show you it's a little more efficient to connect the front aerial to the back handspring with the arms pulled side. I'm having every girl work on this skill at least five times a day every day so that with patient application, they will build an awareness of the skill. Even if we never competed on the beam, I want them developing the flexibility and the air awareness it builds working on the skill. It, it, if you have patience with the kids and you do the drills step by step, it really doesn't take that long every day. We're doing 10 to 15 minutes for the entire um, application of all the beam skills, including back handspring layout, step out, front aerial, side aerial, back tuck, layout, and layout step out. If you just stay um, focused with it and stay consistent, the kids will develop the skill.